So you can use salt. Um, you can use the fine grain kind or the coarse, like larger pieces. Either one will work, but I think this one kind of makes a more um, dramatic result. So what you want to do is just lay down some watercolor. Um, make sure it is dark enough and not too watery. If it's too transparent, um, the salt won't really have enough color to soak up. So it won't really make a huge difference. So I'm putting it on pretty thick. I did a little blue and a little purple. Okay, so with the salt, you have to, whoops, too much there, just kind of lay it on there, just kind of drop it on, um, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but you can see it kind of soaks up the color, so I'm just going to kind of spread that around, and it makes a really cool texture once it dries. So you have to let it sit and then you can kind of wipe off the salt once it's dry. Okay, let's see how that ends up turning out. So we'll come back when this dries and then we'll wipe it off and see the result. And here is the final result of the salt, and I used extra coarse sea salt. You can try this with just, you know, fine grain table salt as well. You'll get a different result, but it will still look really cool. Um, you can see it kind of soaks up the color in certain spots. It kind of left some little darker areas, but overall it's just a very cool, interesting texture.